Hi everyone, welcome back to a new week um, and a new month and here we are starting out this assembly where we always do with our vision and values statement and as you know we like to make sure that our assemblies and indeed all the work we do in the school starts with our vision and values. So this assembly is dedicated to the happy part of the vision and values statement. It's probably not one that we talk about very much. Um, it's kind of understood that if, you, if we do care for each other, if we do value everyone in the community, if people are experiencing success and we're all healthy in ourselves and our mental health, then we are happy. But it's really, really important that you take time to consider happiness and to understand its value. And that's always the case, but probably never more so than at the moment. So that's why we're giving over a few minutes to considering happiness as a concept. Happiness is your goal in life and happiness is your happiness is our goal at Clyde Valley High School. Every bit of research that is ever done into learning um, demonstrates that people can't learn if they aren't happy. So it is absolutely our job to make sure that you are as happy as you can be at school um, and that you understand how important happiness is in life in general. As you know, I'm very partial to um, looking at the well-being wheel and considering what we are talking about in assemblies in that con in the context of the well-being indicators. And I suppose when we're talking about happiness, what's notable about the well-being wheel is that happiness doesn't appear on it anywhere. And happy doesn't appear as um, one of the indicators. And that's because if you were to take all the other indicators and if every young person um, were nurtured to a high degree and they were very safe, and they felt entirely included and they were achieving to potential and they were as active as they could be etc then you would have a happy young person so really these are all the kind of bits if you like that you could break your ha break happiness down into and that's why we always use these as a measure when we're looking at you all in terms of your well-being and how you're doing in yourself but that's why we look at all of these areas, because what we're trying to do is make sure that you are as happy as you can be. We had a really good week last week at Clyde Valley, um, and that's because we got to welcome some of you back, the S4, 5s and 6. We got to welcome some of you back to do practical work for your national qualifications. And it was just great. It was just great to see people back in school, young people back in school. Um, all of your teachers commented on it, um, said how positive the building felt again, um, talked about how great it was to be able to work with young people in classrooms. Um, and it really was a positive step for all of us. It, you know, as a, as a team in the school, um, it felt really like we were moving in the right direction through this pandemic um, and hopefully that's going to continue and we will have you all back as soon as is safe. Um, but it's important for us to remember that although this does feel as though the situation of digital learning and not actually being together in school is stretching on. We are moving in the right direction. So um, a positive step last week, we will continue to welcome our senior pupils in for pra um, essential practical work this week. And we're just very much looking forward to when we can all safely be back together in the building. And it's really important that you know that things are moving in the right direction because I think there's a lot of negativity in the media 
um, and that's not always helpful for you when you are being discussed. If you like, what's being discussed is you not being in school and the impact that that's having. Um, so we are moving in the right direction, and that's a really good thing. Happiness boils down to your mental health. And the message that we want to get across to you is that you need to make your own mental health a priority. Your mental health is important. Looking after yourself is important and taking positive steps for the benefit of your own mental health is really, really important. You're responsible for your mental health as you are for your physical health. So as you will make responsible choices about what you eat and what you avoid doing and what um, physical activity, how much physical activity you take, you also have to take responsibility for doing things that you know are good for your mental health. So I am going to give you a little piece of homework and that piece of homework is that I would like you to do something today that makes you happy and is good for you. So I want you to have a wee think, what makes you happy? You are all individuals, all 754 of you. You all have something different that makes you happy and is good for you. What is it? Is it walking your dog? Is it phoning your best friend? Is it having a cup of tea with one of the adults in the house? Is it cuddling your pet? Is it spending time with a younger sibling? What makes you happy and what is good for you? I want you to think about that. And it should be a really simple thing, not a huge thing that's difficult to achieve and has to be planned and executed. Something really simple that you like doing and is really good for your well-being. I want you to think about what that is. And I would like you to make sure that you do it today. So every day, I want you to do something really simple and really easy that is good for you and makes you feel happy. And I want you to start with that today. Make that conscious choice. I'm going to do this because I will feel really good when I do it and I'll feel much better after I have done it. Okay. And as I said before, there is a lot of anxiety in the media about school closure, quite rightly, because it has a huge impact on our young people. It is having a huge impact on all of you. But what we don't want is for you to worry about it. We don't want you to be anxious about it. We want you to engage with your digital learning as best as you possibly as best you possibly can. We want you to reach out to us if you need support or if you need help. We want you to come along to your check-in and chat sessions so you can say hello to each other and to your PSHE teacher. And we do not want you to worry about this situation and how it is affecting your education. That is for us to worry about. That is for uh, your teachers to address um, and what you need to know is that we believe in you. We know that you will come back and you will flourish when you are back in school and we are all back together. And we know that together there is really nothing that we can overcome, even this situation with COVID. Um, and we're kinda, I'm going to end on that quote there from Winnie the Pooh. I know it looks a bit babyish, but Winnie the Pooh is actually a great um it's it's a great piece of work that has kind of lessons for life and philosophies to live by. 
um, and I really love this quote, um, which is about the fact that sometimes when you doubt yourself, it's really important that you know that there is somebody out there who believes in you and who knows how great you are and who knows how much potential you've got. And that's how we feel about all of you. So don't let yourself get sucked into negativity. Please don't feel anxious and worried. Just do your very best working from home. Let us know if you need us. And believe in yourself because we believe in you.